From a very young age, I've always loved to sing. When I was growing up, I can remember constantly being surrounded by music. My whole family are very musical. It's inherent in my Polynesian culture, and I guess that's where it stems from. I have these vivid memories of long journeys in the car with my family, my father behind the wheel, where we'd all sing and all break out into four-part harmonies. I think that's how I learnt to sing. That was my foundation, and from then on, I've just nurtured it. I grew up in a very working-class area where nothing was merely handed to you. You had to work hard and fight hard for what you wanted, which in a way helped toughen me up, I guess. I developed a street sensibility really fast. I've always been very ambitious, not in a ruthless way or anything, but I am quite a determined young woman. Girlfriend was my foot in the door of the music industry and it was a great learning experience. The Girlfriend albums were released in quite a few territories, the most successful being Australia, where it was the biggest selling debut album at the time. Through Girlfriend I gained valuable exposure throughout Southeast Asia, the United Kingdom, Germany and New Zealand where I was born. I made my acting debut in an Australian feature film called Idiot Box, which is an action-packed black comedy set in the western suburbs of Sydney. I play a character called Lani, which was the female lead role, who was ironically incredibly similar to me. Anthony Copping and I had worked together before. He was involved with some of the production of the Girlfriend albums. He mentioned in passing this project he was putting together called Siva Pacifica and asked me if I would like to join his team and help coordinate the vocals, which meant travelling throughout the South Pacific, working and recording with all these different villages and tribes, and also the opportunity to find out more about my Polynesian culture, which is very important to me. I found that working on location in Melanesia and Polynesia really helped me grow spiritually as a person, and it helped me reprioritize what was important in my life. Siva has been released throughout Europe, and just recently it's been released in Australia and New Zealand. For the last three years I've been doing a lot of songwriting which is something I'm very passionate about, creating material for my first album which is out through Polydor Polygram. Tell me I was very adamant that with this being my debut album I really wanted creative control across the whole thing. So the songs that I sing, the topics that I write about, the style and the direction of the music are all reflective of me and come from my heart rather than being conjured up by some big name producer who lives in LA and has never met me before because <laughs> I'm just not into that. With the style of malaria I wanted to create something that was original. Uh, I didn't want to take the easy option by going straight down the R&B line or down the dance line or the MOR line. I like being different and a little bit daring. I wanted to be innovative. So malaria is dark and urban combined with my cultural roots. It's a very personal and honest depiction of my experiences, um, my views and opinions, my background, and hopefully leaves people with more of a truthful insight. Malaria is very raw and very natural.
and seriously infectious. And this is the first single off my album, and it's called Sick With Love. Je 